Hi, friends. If you have recently become a manager or aspire to become a manager, welcome to Greater Responsibility. Uh, as you know, you now have responsibilities above you and you have responsibilities below you in the organization. Uh, this video will discuss some foundational attributes of leadership upon air, which everything else should set. Um, hopefully these concepts will get you off to a really good start and a solid foundation and a good mindset as a new leader. So let's get started. I'll start with a question for you. Wouldn't it be great if you could be the kind of leader that people wanted to follow as opposed to were required to follow? There's a big difference if you think about that. At the foundation of great leadership are two primary characteristics, competency and character. Let's talk about competency first. Being competent is critical because your bosses are looking to you for confidence and uh, competence. And uh, those who work for you are looking for competency and guidance from you. So uh, all eyes are on you. Um, many new managers, though, have the perception that the way to get out of the gate as a new manager is to act competent. Uh, act like a leader, uh, perhaps pretending to uh, to have those qualities before they actually do. I don't subscribe to that way of doing things. Um, there's another way to look at this. So what do you do? I recommend three things that you can do that will definitely help you get a good foundation as a young leader. Um, early on, number one, early on, ask your boss for mentorship. Um, just go to your boss and say, please help me get up to speed as quickly as possible. Can you give me tips? I want to be successful. Uh, I want to do the job well. Uh, what can you tell me or should we meet on a periodic basis so that I can learn how to get up to speed as fast as I possibly can? I can assure you that if you ask your manager, your boss that, they will give you everything you ask for and they'll do it simply because you asked. Number two, in your initial meetings with your uh, employees, those who report to you, be honest with them right up front. Let them know that you're new at the job. They already know it, but tell them that you know you're new at the job, that you want to learn to do the job as well as you can, as quickly as you can, and that you would appreciate it if they would help you get up to speed with things that they know about their jobs so that you can do your job better. If you do this, you'll be connecting with your people in a way that will be very powerful and will open the gate to really good communication between those who report to you and you. And the third recommendation I would make is to read about the lives of most of history's impactful leaders. Pick a, pick a, a historical, powerful leader and study the life of that person. Uh, I was encouraged uh, many, many years ago to study the life of Winston Churchill. Uh, Winston Churchill was Britain's prime minister during World War II. Uh, I did that and I can tell you it, it transformed the way I looked at leadership. So let's move on to the second primary um, characteristic of leadership, and that being character. Uh, we could dive into this topic for days, um, but I want you, I want to give you something specific to think about. Uh, this is a statement that I debated with executives and leaders for years. And I would like you to think about debating this with your mentors and people that you trust and go to for wisdom. The statement is, great leaders never take credit. That's a strong statement, I know. Does never really mean never? Uh, can you actually do this? Does this limit your career progression if you do this and others don't? 
Uh, hopefully I've started the debate. Carry it from here. Talk to people you trust on this topic. I think you'll find it very, very interesting. So let's look at it this way. If you never took credit, how would the people who report to you think about you? Even further, what if you found a way to give them credit for everything that happened? How would you would how do you think they would think about you then? So let's get back to my original question. If you could be the kind of leader that people wanted to follow as opposed to were required to follow, could perhaps answering the question that I've given you to debate help you get to that position? Think about that. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Uh, I have debated this topic with executives, managers, and employees for years and have great, had great fun doing it. Um, I really believe that thinking honestly about this question uh, will impact your leadership style and your effectiveness as well. Um, competency and character are cornerstones of great leadership. Changing and chasing both of these is worthwhile and I think will have a significant impact and bear significant fruit, uh, not only for your career, but for those who are going to follow you. I really enjoy this topic because mostly it reminds me of those leaders who mentored and helped me along the way. Uh, if you would like to have a continued conversation about this with me, uh, please click below for a free session. Also, um, join our Bulletproof Business community. It is a forum of wisdom and insights from uh, C-suite and business leader members who are or have built what we call um, Bulletproof Businesses. As a first step of joining our community, click below and sign up for our newsletter. Enjoy.